Hello and welcome. Professional Builder is joined by Jimmy Inglazos, Senior Product Manager, Woodcare at Ronsil Trade. We'll be talking about the manufacturer's recent BVA approval and also the extensive range of water-based solutions for interior and exterior applications. And um, if we can start, Jimmy, just by uh, outlining your job role at Ron Seal Trade. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, so I'm the senior product manager for wood care, as you, as you pointed out. So I look after all of our varnishes, wood fillers, oils, wood stains, etc. cetera. Um, key part of my job is that I work closely with our R&D team. So uh, we look to bring like, new innovation, new, new products to market. Um, but I also do a lot of uh, research to see what the end users are looking for. And then I'll relay that back to our R&D team as well. Um, then I'll also be kind of like the, the last point of testing the products before they go to market as well. So I get a chance to, to make sure they're actually delivering what we want them to do as well. So you, you've obviously been heavily involved with, with the whole BBA process then. The, the, the obvious question to start with then is, is why seek British Board of Agriculture approval in the first place? What, is, what does it mean to run seal trade as a company? Yes, I mean, we, we sought out the BBA accreditation because... You know, we really sort of live and breathe that, that does exactly what it says on the tin tagline that we have. Um, but we also know that tradesmen and women uh, hang their reputation on not only the quality of their work, but also the products that they choose and to use and they, and they recommend themselves. So we wanted to make sure that we can provide that additional level of reassurance that not only do we say it does exactly what it says on the tin, but then through this accreditation that we've got, the BBA also say it does exactly what it says on the tin. So it's that extra level of reassurance to the, to the end user. Because it is quite a, quite a stringent process, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So there's, there's, there's no stone unturned uh, with, the, with the testing process. So, you know, we, you know, we, we go through and um, make sure that, well, the BBA guys in their lab go through and make sure that the exact grams of coating are used on uh, while they're testing these products to make sure that the tests are all fair and they're, they're done in accordance with how they're supposed to be used so that the results are accurate. So yes, there's absolutely no sign unturned in, the, in this process. And can you give us a feel for, for which products went through the testing process? Uh, yeah, so uh, we've had our 10 year wood stain, um, our crystal clear exterior varnish, quick dry interior varnish, essentially everything that's that's in our uh, our one seal trade range with the exception of the, the latest addition in, in yacht varnish. Uh, that one's not gone through, but aside from that, all of our products have, have gone through this, that they're available in the range at the moment. And what, what, what do you, you touched on this a little bit already, but what, 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 is it, what do you think it says about Ron Seal Trade and the product that you offer? Uh, well, I think, it, I think it just shows that, you know, we, we really care about the, 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 the job that the end users are doing and making sure that their reputations are upheld. So I think it just shows that, you know, we trust our products, but we want to make sure that, that there's absolutely no doubt that these products are gonna, are gonna adhere to your high standards as an end user, as a tradesperson, and that you won't have to keep coming back uh, to do those jobs over and over again, you know, so we can deliver that efficiency to you. Uh, what elements of, of the individual products were tested then? So things like UV resistance, for instance, can you yeah. just give us a feel for those? Yeah, so uh, it, it was a pretty exhaustive process. Um, so you, you already mentioned UV resistance there, but aside from that, water permeability for like the exter exterior products that we've got, scrubability, so if they're being wiped down, uh, resistance to, to like heavy impacts that might, that might occur, so doors slamming, etc., and then also their gloss levels, um, but also on top of that, we also have um, an ongoing agreement with the BBA as well, where they'll continually audit our products and our labs to make sure that that, that level of quality and all those tests that they, that they initially performed will still be accurate and that quality still being delivered in the products each year. Does the BBA approval give you access to new markets then, to areas that you may not have penetrated previously? Yeah, I would, I would say so. Uh, I think those who are in the trade are, are likely to be familiar with the BBA uh, accreditation. So a lot of the components that they might work with um, in their day-to-day -day jobs will, will have those accreditations. So they'll understand that the stamp of quality that it, that it provides and also the amount of work that goes into to holding such an accreditation. So in that sense, I think it does help because you know, there's that instant recognition that this product will get the job done. Um, that, that isn't necessarily understood or available in the DIY markets, for example. 
So, so moving on to the water-based solutions then, what, what products do you have in, in the water-based range for interior applications? Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got uh, a number of interior products uh, for the one-seal trade range. So uh, the quick dry interior varnish um, is the first one that comes to mind. So that's a 100% dry in one hour. And then we've also got our ultra tough floor varnish. Um, as the name suggests, it's ultra tough, but, but non-yellowing. There's a recoat time of, of two hours. Um, so that's part of the beauty of these water-based products as well. You know, not only are they really tough and hard wearing, but they can increase that efficiency, as I mentioned before. So that means that a trace person can get that job done quickly and move on to the next one. Yeah, you've mentioned tough and hard wearing there. How, do, how does the water-based durability stack up against its solvent counterpart then? What, what's been done in recent years to improve the durability of the, of the water-based solutions? Yeah, I think this is a this is a you know, question that we hear a lot about as well. You know, particularly when you think sort of traditional trades persons who are more familiar with using solvent-based products, and I, I can understand there's that sort of caution with with water-based or what they've had in in the past. But absolutely, water-based technology has advanced massively through the years uh, to the point that they now match the durability of their solvent-based counterparts. But actually, they also come with an extra range of benefits as well. So that greater flexibility, which means less cracking of the coating, better color retention, which means no fade or yellowing, the quicker dry times and low odors are obvious ones. But these improvements have been achieved through loads of work on research and testing within the industry, you know, not just with ourselves. Um, but in terms of durability specifically, the work carried out on developing those resins um, is, is where that is what's contributed a lot to the outcome of having these, um, these water-based products that now do absolutely stand up and match up to the durability that's provided by the solvent-based counterparts. Yeah. So in terms of the product range, are there any products that it would be specifically suitable for high traffic areas, something that would need, something that would, would be suffering from increased impact, for instance? Uh, yeah, so uh, the, the first one that comes to mind would be the ultra tough floor varnish, which I mentioned earlier. So that, that's absolutely perfect for high traffic areas. Um, it's super durable, uh, stands up to e everyday knocks, scuffs and scratches that you'd expect to get on those on those high traffic floors, as well as giving a, a really nice finish as well. So it's absolutely perfect for, for busy households or high footfall areas. And there's been this is a great example of, of a product that has had a lot of work done on those resins to make them durable because you know, as we mentioned before, like uh, traditionally, maybe solvent based products would have been used for these these sort of areas. But there's been a large amount of work that's been put into this resin to make sure that it absolutely can, you know, stand up to that level of, uh, of traffic. Yeah, absolutely. And are there any special considerations in terms of surface treatment before applying a Ron Seal Trade product? Um, I would say not. Not necessarily, no, I wouldn't say there's any special uh, special um, preparations that need to be done for our range in particular. Um, and I think also the, the question popped up before around, um, you know, is there a difference between water-based and solvent and air preparations? And again, I think not. Um, I think that the preparation really depends on the condition of the surface and what it's currently in. Um, so, you know, when you're, you know, if the wood's bare, you need to give it a light sand before you coat it. If it's previously coated, then it depends on the condition of that coating. Um, if that coat is a good nick, light sand and go over. And if it's in poor condition, then we'd re recommend taking it right back to the wood and to, to get the best results. But, you know, I guess the, um, the one point that, that is of note is really where we do have a lot of water-based products, um, the question can arise as to how well can they go over solvent-based products, yeah. uh, previously coated solvent surfaces. And I think in these circumstances, the only difference would be that that solvent surface needs to be given up an extra really good key to make sure it can adhere. But other than that, there's there's no additional preparation that would need to be done, uh, no additional coating or anything like that that needs to be done to, to, to be able to use these products. You've mentioned there are already drying times. As we know, it's one of the key benefits of using a water-based solution. Can you give us a, an idea of, of what sort of gains can be accrued by a builder in terms of drying times? How quickly a job can be turned around, for instance? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, yeah, the quick dry times is, uh, is one of the obvious um, benefits of having a, a water based product and they are a lot quicker than their, their solvent counterparts. So in some cases, it's really dramatically reduced dry time. So if we take the, the quick dry interior varnish, for example, uh, I said earlier, it's 100 percent dry in one hour, whereas your typical solvent based varnishes would take at least six hours uh, in terms of recoat time. So straight away there, you can see for a trader that 
this will mean a whole job could be not just completed in, in a day, but actually potentially in a morning. You know, if you're going to do two or three coats of that product, you could get that done in the morning rather than needing to come back, you know, maybe the next day or potentially three days in a row to be able to get a, a job completed. So you can straight away see the efficiency that's going to add to, you know, to their, to their working day and their working week. Um, then also another point to note in terms of those dry times in particular, uh, the variance in the environment that the job's being completed in, such as, you know, uh, humidity, the temperature and so on, that doesn't have as much of an impact on the curing of water-based products as it does on solvent. So although solvent products will have a, you know, a, a sort of rough lead time in terms of their, their, their coating time of that six hours, 10 hours, whatever they might be, if there's a higher level of humidity, then those conditions can actually drag that dry time out further, whereas the water-based products dry a lot quicker so um, it's a lot more um, reliable in terms of what's on pack for the dry times, regardless of the of the circumstances that you're coating in as well. Yeah, because as environmental considerations are front and centre for everyone now. So, so what what can what what are the key environmental credentials of a water based solution in terms of sustainability, but also indoor air quality as well? Yeah, I think you're absolutely right, and this is something that we put a lot of focus onto across uh, Ronsil Trade and, and Ronsil as a whole as well. Um, so with the water-based products, it, it comes with low VOCs, uh, which is you know, volatile organic compounds, um, which really benefits the homeowner uh, for where the tradesperson's working. So these, these VOCs are, are present in, in all the coatings, but in solvents, they're, they're very high. Um, in water-based, they're very low. So, so what happens is once that's coated, that surface, over a period of a month, those VOCs can continue to be released. So they're the kind of nasties in the product that are being breathed in. Um, but obviously with a high VOC product like a solvent, there's going to be a much higher frequency of these VOCs that's being breathed in over the course of a month. So even though the, the smell's gone, it's still there. So definitely the benefits of, of making sure that, that you know, you, you're using a product that has low VOCs. And that's why we always focus on that. Um, it's not just a case of ventilate the area while you're coating. People don't necessarily, uh, they're not necessarily as aware of the impact over the course of time after it's dried. Okay. And in terms of exterior applications, what, what are you supplying there for the building trades? Yeah, so we've got a, a whole range of that within one seal trade. So the 10 year wood stain is kind of our, our sort of hero product for the exterior. But then we've also got a crystal clear exterior varnish and um, yacht varnish, uh, fencing stain, wood preserver and a, and a deck and protector as well. Yeah. So how are, are some of those products working with, with the wood? How are you maintaining the colour and the finish? over time, particularly in, in, in exterior applications? Yes, yeah, so, so these products, are, they're all designed to be long lasting, um, which relates to their durability, but also their ability to maintain and highlight the beauty of the wood as well. Um, so this means it's, it's not just about sticking to the wood, but also about retaining its color, uh, not fading through UV exposure, weathering, uh, providing that water resistance as well, and delivering strong color for the use of like, real superior pigments as well. So. In the technology we use and the pigments that we use, particularly in our colored products like the 10 year wood stain, uh, we design UV can't actually penetrate through those pigments, which then really allows for that. Well, we obviously put a big claim of 10 years on it. So just to make sure that that guarantee is there, that that color is going to remain and the wood's going to be protected for that period of time. And then for the non-pigmented coatings like our crystal clear exterior varnish, then the, the magic's really in the resin. So where the, the pigments aren't there to be able to uphold that, that, that resistance to fading and, and cracking and blistering, the resin actually steps in. So we've put that focus on that technology to make sure we can build up that protection as well. As your answer has just alluded to there, you obviously put a lot of, a lot of emphasis on, on R&D and, and the technology behind Ron Seal Trade products. Can you give us an idea of, 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 of what you're doing in, in your research and development program and about what we can look forward to there as well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're always looking to develop true innovation. It's, it's what we're really passionate about. Um, you know, we like to see ourselves as, as like category leaders for innovation in, in a lot of areas that we work. So our work with the water-based technology is an example of that. Um, you know, we want to make sure we're delivering products that provide that efficiency, the aesthetics that's expected, and then the quality as well for the end user and the homeowner to make sure it lasts. Um, we, never, we never stop testing and researching. Uh, we're always looking for ways to improve our range and our formulas. Um, and I think specifically, we've mentioned it a couple of times here, but like that environmental 
friendly as aspect of it. So we've, we've mentioned this, the efficiency and all those benefits that come with the, you know, the water-based solutions that we work on, but the environmental side of it is really key for us. And we know that it's really important to both trades people and to the, the homeowners as well. So working on driving down those VOCs, reducing plastics, et cetera, which are either in packaging or can be found in terms of the, the coatings as well, like microplastics and so on, making the coating safer, you know, all these things are, are really important to us. So we feel like efficiency, aesthetics, quality, and environmentally friendly aspects as well. Thanks very much for your time, Jimmy. That, that was that was very insightful. Um, okay. You can you can read more about the Ron Seal trade range in future editions of Professional Builder magazine. And in the meantime, thanks for watching. <laughs>